So this next lesson is based on your ability to understand the vocabulary of math. And so if we look at this top saying right here, okay, we're saying that y is a function of x. So whenever they tell us about a function of x, they're talking about what variable is used in a problem. For example, I could write an equation y equals 2x plus 5. And usually what we're doing is we're concentrating on this side of the equation, the one that has all the stuff going on. And in this side of the equation, we'll notice that there's an x right there. And what that means is x is the variable of this problem. And so that's what this means. It's a function of x means that x is the variable of the problem. So when we are looking at this, this, um, this saying up here, if I rewrite it, we're saying y is, remember equals is, is um, the, what we use for is, a function of x. And so when I say a function of, I'm just putting a squiggly line to stand for, there's a bunch of words there, of x, and, and what's going on here is I want to solve an equation so that it says y equals all the other stuff with the x, so that x is the variable over here with all the other stuff, and y is by itself. So again, y is a function of x. Okay, so what that means is if they tell me to solve this so that y is a function of x, I want to get y by itself. So just like with the rest of the stuff that we did in this chapter, I focus on wanting to get the y by itself and get rid of the rest. Now you'll notice the rest of this stuff is being added to the y. So even though these aren't the green guys that we're used to, it's still the same kind of thing. Because it's being added and it's positive, to get rid of it, we are going to subtract it. So we'll subtract 5x from both sides. Okay, so when I do that, the 5x and the negative 5x, they zero pair out, and I just have y equals, which is a good start because that's what I want. And then on the other side, notice 7 does not have an x on it, but 5 does. So I can't actually put them together. This is not going to be 2x because 7 is not an x. We've got 7 green guys and we've got 5 yellow sticks. And so what we do is we just write down, that's what we have, 7 minus 5x. And we've got our answer right here because they just wanted us to write it so that it's y equals a bunch of stuff with x. Now I don't care that x is at the end, it could be in here or wherever, it just happened to end up there. But this is our answer. We wrote it as a function where y equals all the stuff with the x. Let's look at another one. This one, notice x and y are switched. So this one is saying x is a function of y. So I want to rewrite it so it's just the x by itself equals all the other stuff with the y. So if I look at this problem, I've got just the x by itself. I've got the x there. I need to get rid of the 3 and the y. Now if we look at the setup, the y is kind of like our green guys. We can get rid of it because it's being added. So we can get rid of it by subtracting it from both sides. Now when I do that, they cancel out and I get 3x equals. Now on the other side, again, 4 doesn't have a y on it. So this is like 4 green guys and this is like some yeah, yellow stick or an orange stick. And so what I have to do is I have to just say I have both of these things. I have 4 minus the y. But I'm not done this time because I still have that 3 right there. So I need to get rid of that 3. It's being multiplied times x. So to get rid of it, I divide by 3. But then that means on the other side, I also have to divide by 3. The whole thing. Everything gets divided by 3. And so now I get x equals. And we can rewrite it as just 4 minus y over 3. Or you can write it as 4 over 3 minus y over 3. I don't really care. Either one is fine with me. Because both of them um, satisfy that I want x equals all the stuff with the y. And same thing over here, all the stuff with the y. So either one is fine. I typically will just do this and say that that's my answer.